Hello everyone, it's me Shihim again. This is another video by me and an art tutorial. So uh, I'm going to keep this full length, I'm not going to edit it and speed it up. I'm going to be talking over it and just explaining the process as well, which you've seen it on the screen as well. And um, I think this is going to be a really helpful for you. And now, this character Lola is not really a main character of mine. But if you actually want to see this process applied to one of my main characters, you know, Kira, Zion, like even Grady and um, Kira like side characters as well. Lola's a um, character that only appears like, once in the whole graphic novel. So she's she's kind of an unnamed character but I just gave her a name. So but if you actually want to see like the the ones with like big names and everything, like be a drawn to talk with them. Because you know Zion's head is square and then Kira's head's rounder shapes. It's like different different shape language and everything. So again, if you want to see that, let's hit a like goal of 10 like. If this video gets 10 likes up to tutorial, I want to build up to it, you know. So yeah. So, this um, the intention of this art tool is to draw Lola and show you how I draw Lola. So you can draw her, then maybe I can do like um, a draw in your style or something and to engage my community and everything like that. So this is a 60 minute tutorial. I'm going to play music in the background for a bit. Um, so I'm done talking, so you're not like um, just watching a um, without any sound. But I'm going to go into the most important things early on, and then after I'm done, I'm gonna play me to call, and then at the end when it's just the picture alone, I'll talk about that as well. So basically, I, just, I did a sketch of Lola. Um, I kind of wanted to like stylize that. So, I'll show the sketch on screen. I knew going into it, I wanted to kind of change the expressions or change the direction of the eyes as well. So that was going in my mind because the scene that the sketch is from involves another character, and um, that's my main character, Kira. And I don't want to. I could show it on the screen, obviously, but. I want to kind of um, save her appearances, make them more special and everything. So, because this video is going to kind of not be about her at all. And when it's already hard, you know, <laughs> you want it, you want them to be like, you know, as they're showing that they're, they've, they've either got a role or they're just not showing, you know, that's, I kind of want to treasure them and make them valuable and special and everything. And Lola, if this video gets 10 likes, and if it gets even more, she could But she's actually part of the world that I set Sion in, not actually the world I set Kira in. So it's kind of like a collision of worlds. Even though one's not really set, like, one's not definitely set in this decade, one's set in that decade. Like, they could literally be in the same decade, same year, same country, same anything. Well, not the same age. Um, same school year but apart from that yeah so yeah I'm just like showing you the process of how I would draw Lola and it's a process you can follow along again it's not speeded so you, you won't like from like you have to pause the video or well, you can if you want to that's completely optional but you don't have to do you won't be forced to pause the video and then break it down like you can just follow along at your own pace and yeah so I kind of hope you enjoy
I did decide I was going to add music, but I think just like talking through a bit more to give more context and show you how I really think is is probably the best idea here. So basically, like I kind of want all my characters to be in a way where I get like when it comes to animation terms, the anim the animate them, I can understand their shape language, and that way it's easier to. Like rotate them and everything and thinking like when I turn these into animations or in as in the graphic novel as well you're also changing the angles you see them from and how many times you draw them and I think that's very important saying that nothing's complicated I'm not saying that at all but what I am saying is the characters I always want to make sure it's not a fluke so I constantly train myself and train myself to draw these characters again and again so I can understand okay because say if I do a flame and then obviously a flame it can't look the same all the time so that's kind of acceptable but other things like hairstyles or something like you still want to say that it's the same and read it as the same so just again sketching and sketching and like doing it digitally and digitally and just finding and holding important to me
All right, this is the final product. So as you can see, um, the, uh, I guess in my mind and in the sketch, she didn't have um, different coloured eyes, but I kind of add that in as I was drawn into it because I just had that idea too. Um, yeah, but apart from that, and the, I guess in the graphic novel, her hair is a bit darker, but I changed it on purpose for the hairstyle. But apart from that, this is Lola, and you can see that like, she's got like um, a shirt that kind of reminds me of Kara lives at home, which is a great enemy, by the way. And, um, yeah, she just kind of, you don't know what she's looking at, but it creates some kind of curiosity and conversation. And, like, the piece, like, like the different shapes and everything, like, like, the eyes, I really like drawing these eyes the first time I drew them. They're so unique, they're kind of inspired by Egyptian, um, Egyptian, um, Mythology, or what's the word I'm looking for? Um, heritage, history, like interpretations, and then some based on actual, and it's like an interesting take and blending. I really like that. Um, yeah, so it's a bit of influences from Egypt and then other places like, um, but culture and everything and yeah so because I guess if Lola was to give her ethnicity she would be Hispanic I would say and then Hispanic Egyptian and yeah so um yeah I really enjoyed making this piece thank you for watching